Hey my babes, I am off of work and I've got some. Ooh. Told y'all these streets is bad. But I'm off of work and I've got some news for you guys. I made it. Okay. Four out of five days I made it. OMAD and intermittent fasting. Yesterday. I ate so bad, y'all. I ate so bad, y'all. Breakfast was fine. I had um, scrambled eggs with broccoli, peppers, mushrooms, sriracha, because I love sriracha. Um, and then I had two pieces of toast. The damn kids turned the toaster up to inferno. So the first two pieces were a little bit burnt. Um, had to make two more, but enough about that. Um, for lunch. Lunch is where the problem comes in. Yesterday was Thursday. On Thursday, I go to work at 1 o'clock p.m. and I get off at 6 o'clock p.m. I only work a half a day on Thursdays, which is arranged because I have five kids. So I have a lot of doctor's appointments and things like that that I have to get the kids to. So Thursday mornings are the roughest because if I don't stick to fasting in the morning, I roll my whole day. And yesterday, I didn't stick to fasting. I broke my fast at about, um, I'd say about 10 o'clock, and that's when I had the egg scramble with the two pieces of toast, which I'm like, okay, fine, that's not the worst thing. I have breakfast, so what? People have breakfast every day, and they don't die. They don't gain 10 pounds, so what? Have breakfast. Um, problem came when I got off of work, and it was time for the kids to go to football practice. Normally, when I get off of work, um, I have fasted all day. I'm still in fasting mode. My body is still thinking, okay, when we break our fast, it's gonna be dinner time. Since I had already had breakfast, it kind of threw off my whole fasting mentality. I was starving by the time I got ready to take the kids to football practice, and guess where I went, y'all? Did you guess yet? If you guessed Taco Bell, you were right. And I don't even like Taco Bell. But that's where I went, y'all. Went to Taco Bell. You heard me say I got five kids, so I'm like, let me just order a whole bunch of stuff off the dollar menu and I ordered way too much stuff. So I ate like three tacos from Taco Bell. Then got home and I don't know if I was craving the protein or because I had so many empty calories or what the problem was, I had a PB&J. Extra peanut butter light on the jelly. And I used to be the opposite as a kid. I hated peanut butter, but now I just, I really love peanut butter. But yes, so back to what I was saying. I um, did OMAD today. I did OMAD Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I screwed up yesterday, which was Thursday. After I made that nice inspirational video about how I was de-stressing, and I am stress-free, I'm honestly, whatever the scale says, the scale says. But the good news is that I told you I had got down to 193.8, magic number. 193.8 is what I got down to after I stopped stressing out. This morning, after I just pretty much completely threw the diet out the window yesterday, and I'm not encouraging anybody to do this, but like I said, I had breakfast, had lunch, had food at dinner time, so I, I, it was definitely not an old mad day. It wasn't an intermittent fasting day. It was just a bad day all around for food. But this morning, when I got on the scale, I was 194 even. So that's only a 0.2 ounce weight gain which no weight gain is good. I didn't let that rule me. Like I'm back on track today. A lot of people are telling me, stop obsessing about the scale. Stop obsessing about the scale. And that is true. The scale is not the end all be all. And I will be the first person to admit that. But the problem with me not getting on the scale is I feel like if I don't have that number in my head, if I'm like, okay, I've seen 192 on the scale this month. So I know I can get back to that and I can surpass it and I can get down to 190, 189, whatever. That number is just there in my head. If I get too far away from that, I know I'm not doing the right stuff. So I use the scale pretty much going forward as a tool to kind of gauge where I am, gauge what adjustments I need to make and um, keep moving forward on my journey. But yes, I'm excited to see what the scale says today because like I said, yesterday was not the greatest day, but I got right back on with OMAD and intermittent fasting today. So I will give you guys an update as soon as I am home. See you in a bit. Out walking the puppies. Um, 
two of the kids are playing football and so I got my youngest two and my oldest walking Alaska and Ferrari, our puppy. <sighs> it's nice out. I guess this is somewhat of a workout. But we are here killing time while the other boys practice football. I figured I would show you guys a little bit of the family since you haven't gotten to see them this far. Alrighty. And that is Alaska. <laughs> and my oldest son is walking Ferrari, our boy. Come here, puppies. Come here, puppies. Hey. 